Authorities say the fire is believed to have started in the early hours of Sunday morning. Firefighters responded within minutes. But the blaze quickly spread from the old House of Assembly to the iconic National Assembly, where South Africa's first democratic president, Nelson Mandela, was elected in 1994. It's very sad because Parliament is the house of our democracy. Uh, this is where uh, the members of parliament hold the executive to the account. This is where we have debates. We have the State of the Nation address here every year. And um, there are lots of memories. There's a lot of history here. President Cyril Ramaphosa described the fire as devastating and disappointing, especially as it came just one day after the funeral of anti-apartheid hero, Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu. And to wake up to the devastating news of the burning down of uh, the National Assembly or Parliament uh, is, is just really a terrible setback. But notwithstanding the damage that has been caused to the National Assembly, the work of Parliament will carry on. The President said it appeared as though Parliament's sprinkler system had not worked as it was supposed to. He also confirmed that a suspect was being held and questioned in connection with the fire. I believe somebody <clears throat> is being held right now and they are being questioned. But we need to go a lot deeper, a lot deeper uh, into how this type of event can take place and what measures we will need to take going forward. But for now, I think we should be grateful that the National Assembly Parliament has not been raised to ashes and to the floor. President Cyril Ramaphosa has expressed his gratitude to the city of Cape Town's fire and rescue services for responding to the early morning blaze within just six minutes. Firefighters will work around the clock trying to prevent any further damage to South Africa's historic Houses of Parliament. Renard Alcam, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.